now once we have seen what all things aerodrome png can show let's go in deep and let's explore what all options and filters are supported by aerodrome png let's first look at options we can actually store the captured file with the help of aerodrome png minus w option is used to store the file so if i run aerodrome png as aerodrome png at 0 and minus w file name my capture will be stored in file name dot cap file if i only want to store the weak ivs or for that matter if i only want to store the ivs i can use minus iv option minus minus iv option so i have to write it as aerodrome png my interface at 0 minus w file name minus minus ivs so only the ivs in the packet will be stored in that file and the file will be named as file name dot ivs ivs if i have gps enabled i can also integrate my gps with this and i can store the location of the capture if i only want to store the beacon packets i can record all beacons in dump file with minus minus beacon option now filter options are very interesting options and very important options as in a very crowded environment we don't want to capture all the packets if we want to crack the web key for a bss id then we can only capture the packets for that bss id with minus minus bss id option if we want to capture the packets of the aps which are supporting some kind of encryption like if we want to capture all the web supporting aps we can give minus minus encrypt option so aerodrome png minus minus encrypt web web and ath0 will show all the aps which are supporting web in their encryption setting many times in typical office environment lots of aps are deployed and say in office environment all cisco aps are deployed with vendor tag 00 1c00 and then last three octets of the ap are changing so i can specify it with the help of bss id and net mask so my command will be aerodrome png at 0 minus minus bss id 00 say 13 cf and 00000 00 and minus minus net mask as ff 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 000000 so in this case all the aps whose first three octets are 0013 cf will be filtered and will be displayed on the screen minus a option is actually used to filter unassociated clients so if we want to filter only associated clients we can use minus a option again aerodrome png is capable of scanning on all the channels that is all the 2.4 channels and on the all the 5 megahertz 5 gigahertz channel by default aerodrome png will hop on all 2.4 gigahertz channel so if i run aerodrome png at 0 by default it will hop on all the channels specified in 2.4 gigahertz band but if i want to hop on all abg channels i can give minus minus band abg and it will hop on all a b and g channels i can also specify channel switching method by default it's a brute force method it will hop like 1 2 3 4 and so on but if i want to hop the channels in some specified method i can even specify that so in short aerodrome png is a packet capture tool with the help of aerodrome png you can capture the wireless environment also with the help of aerodrome png you will be able to know which all aps are there surrounding you 
which all clients are present surrounding you and what are the exact settings applied on those APs. So if I want to connect to some particular XYZ SSID, whether that particular SSID exists or not in my surrounding, Aerodom PNG is the simple handy tool for you. Also Aerodom PNG is a part of Air Crack suite of products. So it is well integrated with Air Crack and it is generally used for capturing the IV information which is the raw input for air crack ng type of tools thanks for now you can probably look at other web cracking videos to explore how exactly web keys are cracked thank you